Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I am sharing some coastal beach DIY projects for summer. While we are at home trying to stay safe and healthy during this pandemic, I thought to make some coastal beach home decor items to bring summer into my home. And if you are visiting for the first time, welcome. My name is Antoinette. I love and enjoy doing all things home decor, DIY, organizing, and entertaining. I hope you will stick around and consider subscribing. With that having said, let's jump into today's video. Today's video is also a collaboration with my good friend Nicole at Weeks Nest. She's very talented and very creative. I am sure you are gonna love her channel. She's been showing tons of Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse, boho, thrifted, and trash to treasure home decor projects that you can also create to make your house look beautiful on a very affordable budget. I really enjoy that about her. You should definitely check her channel if you haven't already and show her some love and let her know that I sent you. She's also going to do some summer DIY projects today so make sure to check her video out for lots of inspiration. I love starfish and I didn't want to go out shopping to find them and I wanted to include them in my decor so I found a recipe on Pinterest called saldo to make the starfish and I thought to give it a try. So I mix one cup of table salt with one cup warm water and stir it until the salt is dissolved then I add two cups of flour and mix until dough forms and as you can see here it's a little bit hard at this point feel free to add some flour while you needed it I didn't use any but you might need So I went ahead and start forming my starfish. I just did what I thought it would look like starfish so I made a few different forms of star some big small flat textured and I even tried to make a snail I just play with it until I finished the dough
and here how I placed everything on my tray to the oven I bake for 200 degrees Fahrenheit for almost three hours or until they are dry and if you are not on a hurry like me you can simply let them sit on the counter until they dry out and here they are coming out of the oven I am so happy with how they turned out now I will allow them to cool down and then I will go ahead and paint them now it's time to have some fun with painting I also have some decorative shells from Dollar Tree and I will be painting some of them as well so I use this ocean breeze acrylic paint that was from michaels with a dab of navy blue from michaels as well i mix it well then brush over the starfish And once that done I go over it and wipe off some of the paint with a paper towel like you see me doing here I paint few in this same color and some in just white. Once they were all dried, I used the dry brush method, which I used some brown color and dip my brush in it and try to wipe off some color on the napkin, then brush over the edges to give it that distressed look. I do that on the old pieces and then I use same method but this time with gold color. Now that everything is dry, I go ahead and use them to decorate or to embellish my coastal beach DIY home decor. So today I am sharing some of the DIYs and in the next coming videos, I will share some more DIY projects and then I will show you guys my coastal beach home tour indoor and outdoor. So my first DIY group are these gorgeous coastal beach aqua color vases. I had these different size, different shape vases that I thrifted long time ago and I thought to give them this aqua bluish greenish beachy look. So I mixed some Mod Podge and some of the same ocean breeze that I used on the starfish and a dab of navy blue together. Then I add the mixture inside the vase like this. Then I turn the vase flat and spin it slowly like you see me doing here, making sure the entire inside is covered until all the paint dripped down, then I keep it upside down. Once I am done with all three, I let them completely dry and then I start to embellish them. So for this one, I just wrapped some twine around the neck like this, then hot glued this tiny starfish here, then play with it using shells and some marbles that I got from Dollar Tree. Then for this one, I kept it simple. I just wrapped some burlap around here and secured it with some hot glue, and then I glued this cute starfish. For this one, I wanted to create a kind of fishnet around it. I am not sure what I was doing here. I mean, it didn't work how I expected it to because I think I didn't measure the correct length of twine. I didn't follow any method here. I just play with it and I end up short in twine. 
well i tried my best and this is the result it's not perfect but it's not bad so i wrapped some more twine on the neck then i added this starfish here and then I went ahead and added more of the shells and marble and some of these pieces as well. Next DIY group are these gorgeous candle holders that I really love. I had these vases from Dollar Tree. Using some hot glue, I am going to secure the first line with it and wrap a few times around with the add of hot glue every here and there. And then cut the twine and secure the end. Then add one of the starfish that I DIY'd earlier. I did same thing on this one and on this one I just wrapped some burlap around it then add the starfish. I hope that you enjoyed these DIY projects and if you do please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to visit Nicole's video as well it's linked down. Thank you so much for watching until I see you on my next one be well and have fun.